Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kelsey. This lovely lady who is still pregnant is Mabel, and um, she is our Jersey Heifer milk cow on this channel. Um, we share all things family milk cow, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. But I wanted to share today um, two of the biggest signs that your cow is going into labor, like two of the biggest things to look for. She is trying to push away the cat. I might go over a few other little things, um, like with it, uh, snips of, you know, just, just other things to look for. But this is the biggest thing that I look for when um, my cow is going to calve. And the first one would be discharge. So you're going to be looking at their back end. Forewarned, we're going to be looking at the back end of the cow. So if you don't want to watch that, well, don't be here, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... You can see there's a little, little bit of discharge on her tail. So I've been watching her pretty close for the last um, four days or so. I think the last video that you guys would have seen would have been talking about mucus plug and I kind of showed what that looks like. Um, so today is Sunday, so yeah, almost a week ago we saw the mucus plug. But she's been super puffy. <laughs> so she's gonna tighten up. But she's been super puffy on the back end and then just this morning uh, she's had that mucus um, on her tail. The other thing that I have been looking at is her udder development. So with her being a heifer, she's not going to have full, full udders like a cow would, but I'm looking at her udders, seeing if they're filling up and then also looking at the teats. So I'll see if she'll stay still while I show you guys, but I'm more looking at these back teats cause they really haven't really filled up the front. In my last video, I kind of showed you guys the front has uh, filled quite a bit, but um, I've been watching these back ones, just waiting for them to fill more, and then I'm like, okay, now we're closer. And then especially the teats, like I want to see the teats aren't wrinkled, and that they are flush and like plump, and they're finally starting to get that way. Plus that discharge, I'm starting to think that hopefully in the next couple days, it'll be interesting to see how long um, she goes. But uh, yeah, hopefully in the next couple days we'll make some more progress and hopefully get a calf on the ground. Um, if you guys don't know, we have a cow-calf operation. And so I'm used to cows calving, but normally just like regular cows. <laughs> like they've had a baby or two and they know what they're doing. Their body knows what they're doing. So a heifer, plus it's uh, end of November. This is out of our norm for our farm. Uh, normally we calve in the spring summer so I'm not as worried about um, you know uh, um, the the weather and stuff we have another cold cow in here with her um, she's probably gonna get butchered here in the next week but she is very protective of her um, of Mabel so <laughs> I tried to film this video a few days ago and I was in the middle of it and she starts walking towards me and I'm like okay like, will uh, get away before we get charged. Um, so yeah, she was just looking at me there like, get away from my friend. I know that she's she's getting close to calving and I don't want you to bother her. But yeah, I would say that the two biggest things are the discharge and udder development. When those udders get nice and full and then you have lots of discharge going, you know that you're getting a lot closer. Um, her vulva on the back has, like I said, been uh, very uh, spongy is what we say um, the last week and it just keeps getting spongier so we're moving along but I hope that helps somebody uh, when your heifer is about to calve it's a time is a long drawn out thing but hopefully in the um, future years you don't have to watch them as much and their body knows what to do and they know what to do and um, yeah just having a heifer is a little bit of a learning curve for you and them but it's all gonna be worth it in the end so hang in there you'll get a calf eventually and hopefully you won't have to do very much with it hopefully it'll all go smooth but we'll go ahead and end this video here be sure that you guys are subscribed like I said because we have so many fun things coming with a Jersey heifer that is going into milk as our family milk cow there's just so many fun videos that I'm excited to make for you guys and I will see you guys in the next one okay bye guys